Our first expert today is Duncan Mukuna from Sigenta. We have asked him to come and give Alfred some advice on how to best store his grain after harvesting. Around one quarter of all the maize harvested in Kenya is lost every year because of poor storage. Let's see how Duncan can help. There he is. Duncan! Yes, sorry. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. Good. Uh, Alfred. Sir? Tell Duncan what you're going oh, through. Oh, my big challenge is best. Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of best? Okay. Uh, the stock with means the nibbles right. in the storage. I see. So you are, your sale has gone down considerably. Yeah, it has gone down. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, Duncan, yes, Tony. I'm sure you have observed the store. Yes, yes. So what have you seen inside there? He has a lot of uh, produce that he has harvested, but the uh, method of stalling, I think that's where he is getting it long. Mm -hmm. In his store, there are some other items which are not supposed to be in the store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he needs to have a store or a storage facility for his grains, yeah. and uh, for other staffs, he needs to store them in a different store. Mm -hmm. And then uh, his uh, bags with the grains, they're on the floor. If the farmer uh, places his bag with the grains on the floor, he is more likely to get a lot of damage from the pests, the weevils and the termites that will come in contact with that grain. And uh, also because of the cold moisture that is coming from the floor, it might affect the grains. And that's why you hear the incidences of aphrotoxins. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing, he'll have a lot of damage from the pest because they are coming to contact with the bugs moisture. So he needs like a pallet. He needs to place the pallet on the floor and then he places his bag, uh, which is uh, containing the grains, on top of that. The bugs should be laid flat on the pallet so they are off the floor and away from the walls. This stops damp getting into the grain and allows air to move freely around the bugs. But how can Alfred stop weevils and other pests from damaging the grain? From Sigenta, we have a modern weapon to fight against uh, uh, the weevils and all these uh, storage pests mm -hmm. in this case. It is the product by the name Actel Gold Dust. Is it uh, preventative or curative? It has both curative and preventative. Like Alfred case, uh, because I've seen a few damages of his grains, uh, when he uses the Actelic, it will fully control all those uh, pests that are either destroying his grains. So you say he can store his grains for up to how many months? Eight to one year. Eight months, eight to, eight months to one year. To one year. Yes, yes, yes. So when the, when the prices are right, he can sell his grain and make a killing. Yes, he is dry and he is home and dry. <laughs> This sounds great! So, we asked Duncan to show us how to use Actelic Gold. The first step is to ensure the grain is clean and ready for storage. So, we asked everyone to help us sieve the maize to get rid of the chaff and any dirt that might still be around. Next, Duncan put on his protective clothing. Farmers, it is very important when handling any kind of chemical on the farm to always protect yourself first. Next, spread out a bag of the clean maize on a tarpaulin. Empty the contents of the Actelli Gold evenly over the grain. 50 grams will treat a 90 kilo bag. Mix well so the powder is spread throughout the maize. Then put the maize back in the bag. Although grain can be stalled for up to three months without treatment, dusting with Actelli Gold can extend storage life to 12 months. It is safe to eat after six months. The beauty and the benefit of using Actelli Gold, he is able to reduce his post-harvest losses to zero. Then in terms of the quality of the grain after stalling, the Actelic Gold is able to give you eight months to one year storage with free paste. So you are able to wait for the light market so that the prices can rise and you are able to sell your yield at a good price. And the other things, it will be of good quality compared with farmers either who are not using the Actelic Gold. So for Alfred, uh, the benefit of using Actelic Gold are more than 101. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alfred? Yeah. You've heard of the benefits? Are you happy with the benefits of Actelic? Uh, I'm, half, half, I'm happy now. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Duncan. Very good, sir. Good storage practices are so important. 
but as we are now moving to the short rains and it's time for planting, I asked Alfred to keep Duncan here a little bit longer so he can advise us on seed management. As with many things in life, if you don't start right, your chances of ending well with a good harvest are much reduced. So Alfred, yeah. farmers around here, what do they like planting? They like planting green grams. Uh -huh, that's dengue. Yeah, that's uh -huh. and maize. And maize. Yeah. Do they face any problems? They, mm -hmm. they have. They Which have, ones are these? Uh, in part of insect signs. Insects. Some of the seedlings they buy, some of them are not cured. Mm -hmm. So they have challenges of not sprouting good. Mm -hmm. yeah. As we've learned with Alfred, he's a farmer who wants to get the most advice that yeah. he can. Yeah. Other than the knowledge that he has because he also teaches other farmers. Exactly. So what more can you add? It all starts with the seed. Certified seed is good for a farmer because uh, at least you are buying um, you know, seeds which are from good source. Mm -hmm. yeah. So with the right seed, uh, the right method to prepare that seed so that it can germinate, it can give a, a good crop vigor, mm -hmm. then the production-wise, he'll still get his yield is what uh, he is looking at. Mm -hmm. So Duncan, so, you're saying uh, before you plant, it's very important how where you get your seed exactly. and how you treat it. Exactly. Just the same way you bring up a child when they are young, they grow according to how you've taken care of them when they are young. Ah, you got it right. The first step then, always buy certified seed. But the soil is full of enemies, and just like any child, no matter how good the certified seed, it needs to be protected, at least until it's strong enough to look after itself. This is why Sigenta developed Apron Star. Uh, the advantage of using Apron Star basically is uh, you're protecting your seed from uh, harm that it will get when it gets to the soil. Apron star, from the word apron, it's like you're wearing an apron to protect yourself. Apron from, star. Yes. The, the armor. Why, yeah, the armor. Mm -hmm. You armor yourself, you protect yourself from dust, either from fallen things. Uh, and we talked about the soil pest. Soil mm -hmm. pest, we are talking like some termites, mm -hmm. some cutworms mm -hmm. that are in the soil, mm -hmm. and some diseases that come along when it's raining, mm -hmm. like you find the seed are rotting. Mm -hmm. So those are the benefits that apron star protect your seed from. Yeah. And also, it increases the vigor in terms of germination of your seed. Well, this sounds great, but I want to know, how long does Apron Star protect the seed for? Apron Star will give you protection of your crop to 21 to that days, protection okay. from the, uh, the soil pest and the soil diseases. So that means by the time now, 21 or 30 days are elapsing, the crop is grown, mm -hmm. and you're able now to come with the rest of the program to control the pests and diseases. Mm -hmm. So because the most challenge that farmers face is when now they are doing uh, planting the seed and also at that moment when the seed or the seed ring is young. And all these benefits translate to the money the farmer is looking because mm -hmm. he'll have more uh, plant population per acreage mm -hmm. and also the yield will increase with that population. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty about uh, Apron Star and the protection it gives to your crop. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Does it treat all seeds? Yes, you, can, you are able to treat all seeds regardless, the small seeds and even the bigger seeds. So, so Alfred can treat green grams, can treat maize, can so treat can beans. Tomatoes, yeah. cabbages, mm -hmm. yeah. if you have to do all those crops, mm -hmm. you're able wow. to treat. Wow. Yes. So after you've applied the uh, Apron Star, yes. do you plant immediately? Yeah, you come immediately and plant your, your, your seeds. Mm -hmm. Is it safe? Yes, it's safe because the product is here to treat the seed, mm -hmm. not the head product that will come. Mm -hmm. Because you're treating the seed so that now the crop that will bear the fruit can also have that uh, quality and quantity in terms of that. Mm -hmm. So in terms of safe, uh, safety of the product is safe to the crop that you are treating. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so another that, question. Yes. It is harmful to, uh, the, uh, to our health as we, as we farmers? Actually, when you're handling all the chemicals, you need to put on your PPE, the mm -hmm. personal protective gear. So, once again, Duncan is going to put on his protective clothing. We cannot say enough how important it is to wear protective clothing when using chemicals. Now, let's see how to use Apron Star. First, empty the contents of the packet into a mixing jug. 10 grams is enough to treat 4 kilograms of large seeds. Then, add 300 ml of water. Stir well and pour the mixture into a basin. Add the 4 kilograms of seeds and mix well. I've been always a farmer, but I was not following the, the technologies of the new farming. So I appreciated it for when the expert came, addressed me. And that's it. The seeds are ready. Plant within one to two days. 